You know what, man? At this point, I think Tank got psychological uh, mental issues at this point. I don't know who this Ray Jackson is. He's an idiot. Uh, here go Tank, a bigger idiot. They made me mad. If they want me, they got to send me something to my front door like two Ferraris or something. Now, we're talking about some Saudis who's going to pay this idiot more money than he ever made in his freaking entire life. We're talking about $100 million. Hell, even half of that is more money than he ever made. $50 million guarantee. And I think they'll do it. And you bite, this, you cut this hand, you bite this hand, bro? This how you talking? You don't insult people like this, bro. Like, you playing checkers when you supposed to be playing chess. You playing checkers and you... And you made a stupid move with a, you made a stupid checker move. You 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 can't make this 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 stuff up, bro. Like at this point, the guy got mental health issues. Tank gotta have some mental health. He has a, he's he's having a mental health crisis right now. It's the only way. That I can make this make sense. This guy has to have a mental health crisis. He's in a crisis right now. I mean, somebody need to go call Tank. Uh, emergency. This is an emergency. Emergency. I mean, he need he needs a publicist. He don't have no advisors. I don't know what Floyd doing. Floyd probably sitting back shaking his head at this point. Like, dude, you. These people, these Arabs, can change your whole family's life. Can have your mama in a mansion. You know what I'm saying? Can have your mom in a nice house. I don't, you know. If he even bought his mama house. Can have your whole family set up for generations. You can have your mom and living good, your auntie's living good, bro. And his reputation is taking a big hit right now. I mean, he's becoming the idiot. Not even the bad guy. He's becoming the idiot. The village idiot. And and when I say this is like a mental health crisis. Because who does this? Who turns down 100 million? Who turns down 20 million? Who turns down 50 million? Who turns down negotiations to make the biggest payday in your life? Who does this? I don't think this is fear at this point. I think this is just stubborn, uh, spiteful. This is some stubborn, spiteful ignorance that he got going on. Like this is a this is self sabotage. This is this this reeks of self sabotage. Like that's that that's a mental health issue. This dude is self sabotaging his bank account. Why? Because people want him to fight the best, and he's uh, acting like a stubborn coward. He know he can't beat Devin deep down. He's angry. People want him to fight Devin. He can't ignore Devin no more. I mean, this is the same dude that wouldn't even say his Devin's name. That's how much he fears Devin Haney. And he's so ignorant. He's so stupid and selfish. 
and stubborn that he he's angry that he's going to make the biggest petty in his life to lose to Devin Haney. Like I said, it's self-sabotage. Like he's not thinking clearly. He obviously don't believe in his skills. Because if Devin Haney was Ryan Garcia, he'd be jumping on this fight already. He would have been jumped on it a long time ago. You could have guaranteed him $20 million, He would have jumped on taking that. But since he has some jealousy, he has some built-up jealousy against Devin Haney for some reason. He done made it personal for some reason. Like, I don't understand this logic that he's got, he's played in his head. But, bro, you're not finna get no billion dollars for fighting Devin Haney. You know, and you're insulting the Arabs by demanding these stipulations now. They made me mad. If they want me, they got to send me uh, something to my door, like two Ferraris or something. They made you mad, bro, really. Huh, really. This is from a guy like a week ago. He announced he wants to be a Muslim. <laughs> you know. He joined uh he joined Islam. He became a you know, a brother in Islam. Changed his name. Now he's talking about they made him mad. This dude all over the place. He's insulting his brother, his Arab brothers right now. I was thinking he even became a Muslim because he Wanted to get in good in favor with these guys to make his highest payday. But now he's insulting these dudes. And he needs to do an official interview like who is his publicist? He need to get one if he ain't got one. Somebody to advise him on to stop looking like an idiot on Twitter. He needs to do an official interview and state what he wants and state why he's not fighting Devin well we know why he's not fighting Devin because he don't believe in himself and he know Devin is a superior opponent and he is intimidated by Devin Haney that's the only way you that's the only way it, that's the only way that it is that's reality he's intimidated he he wouldn't even say the man's name in the past, those guys, you know, wouldn't even get say his name. Sometimes he'll say his name. If you make him mad enough, he'll say his name. And the dude, like like I said, the dude, you talking about Ryan Garcia got mental health. This fool, Tank Davis, Javanta, 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 not Javante, Javanta. Javanta has mental health issues to say the things he's saying one day he's saying Devin's too big he on something the next day he'll go up to one not the next day he's saying he'll go up to 140 like make up your fucking mind bro that's how I know this guy got mental health he's going through a mental health crisis he don't even know what he know what he want to do you know, one minute he's too big, the next day he can go up. He he ain't that. He ain't too big. He'll go up to one forty. But he ain't negotiating the fight. He ain't trying to make this fight happen though. He talking all that shit on Twitter, but he ain't negotiating with uh, Devin's team. And trying to make the fight happen. And I'm da and I'm telling you, that's what he need to be doing. Trying to make this fight happen, getting with Al, whatever. Trying to make this fight happen. Or coming out in an interview and saying his plan. You know, if you got to deal with Prime, if you got to deal uh, a, a, a four or five fight deal with Amazon Prime, say that. Name your opponents. 
Include Devin in that in that plan. Include Shakur in that plan. But for him to not to not come out in an interview and announce what's going on, it, he he's making himself look look stupid and a madman by announcing this by announcing emotional rants on Twitter. Like 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 man, your reputation is taking a huge hit. This going to hurt your pocketbook. This going to hurt your star status, your star power. Stars are going to start complaining about you next. It's going to be celebrities going to come out against you. You 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 are you're on that momentum right now. You're you're probably the most hated right or the most or the most despised right now in boxing. You're becoming the most despised. You're looked at as a coward right now. People are not respecting it. You're losing Twitter followers. You're losing IG followers. People are turned off by you because of your behavior, because of your cowardly behavior. You're not standing up. You're acting like a, a bratty teenager. Like, bro, if you got mental health issues, say that. Say that. And go and go work on yourself. Go work on your bravery. This is fight height. This is Floyd's boy right here. And look at the hate Tank is getting. Look at the hate. Look at the momentum starting to build up against Tank. Used to be a, a fan favorite. Now becoming a fan hated. Let's see how big a star he is without any opponents. Dude doesn't want to face anybody. What a joke. It's a shame you have guys like Tank who thinks he is bigger than the sport. Look at his record for who he is. Embarrassing. They made him mad by offering him eight figures. You can't make this ish up. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. The man is a self-sabotager. Like, who does that? You get offered the biggest money you ever gonna make in life. You ever gonna make in life, and you and you talking about you want more, <laughs> and you and you turning it down. Like no, I don't want five hundred million. I want three million for an easy fight. I want three million. Like what kind of fool is this? Or he wants five hundred million for an easy fight. Or he mad because he can't get five hundred million for an easy fight. I'm the star. I want five hundred million to fight a, a nobody. I don't want five hundred million to fight the best. Like, bro, like, you can't be that stupid. You got these stupid people in boxing that don't care about boxing. He's not a fan of boxing. He don't know the history of boxing. He was just brought up in the gym. He knew how to fight. And that's what it was, you know. He one of them Tiger Wood kids that grew up playing. Playing a sport, but don't really care about the sport. Just got good at the sport. And people is expecting him. He got a lot of people riding on him. It's a job. It's pretty much... Cause you listen to Tank interviews, he 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 don't love boxing. You can tell. He don't love it. You know what I'm saying? I um, he that's why he's not a that's why he don't watch it. That's why he's not a fan. That's why he don't know the history of it. He's not like a Mike Tyson, a condesor that loved that love that was re re really into his that was really into that was really into boxing and learned and had a teacher that taught him the history and the appreciation for it. You know, nobody taught Tank the appreciation of boxing. Calvin Ford did a you know, I don't know if Calvin Ford tried. You can try to teach a guy, but if a guy don't want to listen, you know, and appreciate his career, then it is what it is. I don't know what Kevin 
Ford was telling Tank. I don't know if Kevin Ford's a boxing historian or, or really loved a sport like that. But uh seems to me Tank don't respect boxing, don't care, just only cared about the money. He was good at it, only cared about the money. It don't respect the sport, don't know, you know, don't know the sport, the history of it, you know, don't keep up with it, don't follow it. Just want his mansion in his cars and and now he's doing something like that people are, that I'm flabbergasted about. He's self sabotaging his career at this point. He's self sabotaging his bank account. You know, he despised all the money they offering him. He despised it. The guy got mental health issues. Who the fuck does that? Stank don't want to fight. They are calling his bluff. If he goes to Saudi, his fans know there is no A side, B side. What Stank want two Ferraris for? To crash into another pregnant woman and run away with his purse? He turned down 50 million just like AJ did. Stank don't want to fight Devin. As usual, Tank responds basically by rejecting a fight offer. He seems to have no interest in fighting any of the top guys. He's quite happy to just keep fighting B and C level guys and protect his undefeated record. Exactly. These are intelligent comments that knows boxing. They know what they're talking about. You know, they're very they can analyze their analyzing skills are perfect regarding tank. Devin is no longer wasting his time responding to Abdul Twitterson. Yep. That fight card in December was one of the best cards in years. If you're truly for boxing, you would want to see the best fights no matter where they were held. What is this guy talking about? Nothing. To be worried about like fights in Saudi is a bad thing. Right. They ought to be glad Saudi picking up boxing. They can make the most money. You know, HBO dump dump boxing, Showtime dump boxing. Now you got to go to Prime. Now you got to go to Amazon, and that probably ain't gonna work out either. They gonna end up dumping it. You ought to be glad somebody want to pay y'all. You ought to be glad somebody want to keep boxing alive, and pay these boxers some great money. You ought to be happy about that. What are y'all talking about? Stupid ass people, bro. Look at this comment section. Nobody even takes this channel serious anymore. What? Tank and conditions. Dude has not fought anyone of significance and is close to father time. 30 years old, yeah. But still giving out conditions to fight. He ain't ready, guys. Like Haney. Haney, Spence, TC would be remembered. More for always taking the hardest fights. Fury and Joshua, both bigger stars than Tank. Tank is a wussy. He say everything but let's fight. Come on, Abdul. You can't put materials over legacy. Dude is a clown. And so is everyone who feels his resume reflects his status. Keep fighting Uber drivers. Ray Jackson glazing heavy. Wow, he's really afraid of Devin. You see all these comments? All these comments... This is the this is where Tank created. People see the real man. People like me. I'm glad you know. I'm glad people are coming like this because they understand the real. They they understand what Tank is doing. They understand the guy is self sabotaging his career. This is awful. From a guy who was supposed to be a fan favorite to becoming a fan hated. And he ain't Floyd Mayweather. He don't have the charisma of Floyd. He don't have the marketing ability of Floyd. You know, Floyd used the fans' hate to plummet his career. I mean, to to skyrocket his career into multi-millions of dollars. He used that hate. You know, he was the bad he he was the perfect bad guy. Floyd can be the perfect bad guy and win 
and boost his career by being a bad guy. Tank can't do that. Tank is is not a marketing genius like Floyd. Tank doesn't have that dynamic personality Floyd had. Tank can't even hold a sentence. He's not Floyd. And 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 when Tank gets hate, his career is gonna go down the drain. When Tank got built up off love, you know, Tank's career is built up off his boxing ability and and the and the love people have for him. When that love fades, his career is gonna fade. You know, with all these hate and comment, with all these comments, I ain't gonna say hate. With all these comments against him, his career can't win. His career is not gonna last. He's first of all dissing the powerful people who can fill his his bank account. It's a stupid move. You dissing the wrong people that could fill your pockets. Because uh, the fans is not going to fill your pockets like these Saudis going to do. I'm telling you that right now. Saudis is going to fill your pockets, not the fans. And you cutting your nose off to spite your face, bro. You're a self-sabotaging idiot. And look at the momentum. They're killing them. Because people can see the real. The people in Saudi can pay these guys $100 million each. They still ain't fighting each other. Talk to your boy Tank. He's the reason. He ain't even, what, like, Devin is moving on to Adrian Broner and all this, trying to make a fight with somebody else because Tank don't want to talk. If they give him enough money, if it's truly about the money, he should take it. I think PBC, more about control than money because if it was about money, that's where the fight would happen. I mean, look, if Tank can't, if, if Tank is under any type of contractual obligation to where he can't make the fight, he needs to say that. But he ain't coming out and saying nothing but being a Twitter finger. He ain't coming out and doing an intelligible interview and saying what can't what he can do and what he can't do. That's the problem. That's that's the frustration. That's why he's getting all that's why the comments are, come, are coming down on him. That's why the people are turning on him. Because he don't come out and say what's really going on. Tank don't want no smoke with Haney. Haney would bring the belts to the table in a Tank versus Haney fight. And because Haney has as much clout as Davis, he won't be able to implement a rehydration clause, which works in Tank's favor as he did with Ryan. The money you make in Saudi would get you 10 Ferraris. Don't let ignorance him. That's what I'm saying. And pride, F up your bag, Tank. You've already dismissed legacy. Right. How petty and small mind is Tank? Right. He's playing checkers. I ain't never seen a, a village idiot like this. The perfect truth village idiot. Like the dude is self-sabotaging. This proves why all countries overseas make fun of Americans. Somebody needs to explain to Tank that Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Bill Gates can combine all the money and it would be 1% of Saudi's riches. You don't insult the Saudis, bro. You don't insult people that can make you, that can put $50 million in your bank account. You stupid idiot. You don't insult these people. Tank will keep ducking the best. Like, this is beyond ducking. The dude got... The dude is a self-sabotaging moron at this point. It ain't even about fighting no more. It's about getting satisfaction off of being a self-sabotaging idiot. It's about being stubborn. It's about hating people because they want to give you money... To fight the best. That's all this is about now. It's not about Devin Haney no more. It's about he's acting like a little small child. He's acting like a village idiot. A small ranting child that can't get his way. He's acting like a little bitch. That can't get his way. He wants that toy. 
Mama said he can't have that toy, so he's throwing a fucking rant. He's throwing a fucking tantrum in the store. He's crying. Hitting the floor, stomping his feet. This is what Tank is doing, metaphorically. He's throwing a small tantrum rant inside a Walmart. Screaming. Because he can't have it his way. If he can't have it his way, he's going to throw a damn tantrum. And he don't realize how much he's hurting himself by doing that. He don't realize he's just making it worse on himself by doing that. Like, he gonna wake up and realize, bro, I just messed up a $100 million payday. Because I was acting like an ass. I just missed a $100 million payday because I'm acting like an ass. Because right now he's probably on cloud nine. Tank is on delusional cloud nine thinking, oh, you know, I can get whatever I want. They all, you know, I'm getting, I got millions of dollars. You know, they going, I'm going I'm to demand more money. They going to pay me more. No, nah, bro. They can get turned off by you and just not want to deal with you anymore. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know, they can be just say, like, F you. Like, do what you want to do, man. We're not messing with you. We're not, we, we don't even want to talk to you. You can assault these Saudis, these Arabs, to the point where they just say, man, you insult, you insult my honor. We don't even want to talk, deal with you no more. Those demands are a joke. Barely not in jail on house arrest. What you going to do with a Ferrari? This is what y'all face of boxing is about. Don't go ish to do with boxing. Don't got ish to do with boxing. Ish weak. Boxers these days are ducks. Unless offered 100x to pay and pay-per-view share. <laughs> but for real, Tank is the epitome of what's wrong with boxing. Does not give one F about his legacy. Just wants to milk the money of his brainwashed fans. I think he's so good knocking out lower tier competition. Uh, look, look, look at these, look at his comments. And Kamel Moten, you want to follow this guy? You know, Tank is a joke to boxing. Look, they killing the Tank. I never, I never, I never believed I would see the day where Tank is getting ragged on like this, bro. I never, I, I, I'm amazed I'm seeing this. He's getting shit it on bad. And I, I predicted this was coming. They is killing this dude. Devin is more popular than Tank right now. Devin is more likable than Tank. Devin is more respected than Tank. Tank just making it hard on himself, bro. He just making it hard on on himself. Look at these comments. This is a Floyd Mayweather channel. This is a Floyd. This is Floyd Mayweather's boy, fight hype, and they killing this boy right now. Tank is doing everything in his power to make sure he doesn't. Look at this. They killing Tank. He's getting hate, hate like he never got hate before. I um, Adrian Broner never got this much hate, dude. Tank is not worth it. Just move on. He will beg for the money eventually. Just like the Wilder turning down one twenty million to fight Joshua. Man, just trying to get all he can. Not ducking. Why take the first one? Davis ain't worth one Ferrari. The Saudis don't have enough money to get Tank in a hurry. <laughs> Oh, we got one fan. I don't care tank over everybody. Yeah. God. Bro, you got a lot of people. To... <laughs> the momentum is not in your favor, bro. 
Yo, man, so. The, I believe it's just going to get worse. I, I believe Tank is going to get so crazy that the Arabs not even going to want to deal with him no more. He's just going to start pissing. He's going to start pissing Heyman off. It's a reason they haven't announced who his next opponent is. It's a reason for that. Tank is just going to start turning everybody off, it seems, with his mental illness and self-sabotaging behavior. And and he's going to be blackballed from boxing. Nobody going to want to deal with him. He's going to be fighting in hotels. <laughs> He's going to be fighting in the hotel soon, man, because what idiot dude does this? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Like, yeah, you better straighten up, Tank. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think Al Heyman approved of this stupid shit he just said right here. Al Heyman, you know. Oh, my God. I don't even think. Well, Floyd, Floyd might approve of it because Floyd don't want to, you know, Floyd is a hater anyway, a deep down hater, you know. Floyd probably laugh at it. No, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to give Floyd a little credit. I don't even think Floyd was cool with this. Floyd ain't never did no dumb shit like this. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Floyd, Floyd is a chess player. He knows, he knows. He knows not to bite the hand that feeds him. You know, Floyd is smart. Floyd gonna play it smart. You know what I'm saying? And it's a reason why Floyd ain't ain't getting no Arab money. I don't know what Floyd doing, but the Arabs ain't off of Floyd. But it's something. It's something's up with the with Floyd and the Arabs. Maybe it's Floyd investors' friends or Jews, and they don't mess with the Arabs and. Floyd is sticking on the Jew side because I remember all those in that Deontay Wilder fight. No, in that fight uh, with Tyson Fury and uh, what's his, what's his name? The guy is what up when the goat? What that fucking guy name? Tyson Fury and the other guy he fought. All those legendary boxers were there except Floyd. And all those legendary boxers got paid handsomely for being in Saudi Arabia. And I noticed Floyd was the only legendary boxer that wasn't there. And I believe that Floyd didn't show up because he didn't want to insult his financial. That He didn't want to insult his Jewish friends. I would think. It's, it's something going on because Floyd ain't turning down no money. So it had to be a reason Floyd didn't go. You know. So I'm thinking they didn't want to deal with Floyd or it is some type of conflict of interest with Floyd dealing with the Saudis. Business wise, it got to be some type of conflict there in which Floyd's uh, investors don't want to. It's telling him to stay away from the Saudis. It's, it's got to be something to that effect. Because why wouldn't Floyd go out there and get that bag? That, that don't make no sense. You got to have all those legendary boxes. And you know Saudi was giving them bags. Just giving away bags of money. That didn't make no sense to me. Floyd was supposed to have been jumped on that. But there's something going on with that. With Saudi Arabia and Floyd. With Saudis and the Floyd, with Saudis, is something going on between the Saudis and Floyd, where Floyd is not jumping on it and getting the bag. Maybe he will in the future, but right now, Floyd is quiet about them Saudis, and it's a reason for that. But yeah, let's see. Let's continue to see what this self sabotaging tank is, is going to do, because right now. The way he's going, he going to end up fighting hotels. Making uh, 10000 a night. <laughs> making 10000 a fight, I meant. Peace.